Welcome to the Progressive Genetics DVD on Progressive Heat Time, a system that can make a huge difference to the profitability of your enterprise. In Ireland, grass is the most important thing we grow, and utilisation of this cheap food is vitally important to every dairy farm. In modern dairy farming, one of the key drivers of profit is herd fertility, and the foundation of optimum fertility is accurate heat detection. Getting cows calving at the right time means we have to get them in calf at the right time. Proper heat detection that works at grass is critically important to the profitability of any dairy enterprise. Our studies have shown that thrice daily, if you check the cows morning, at midday and in the evening time, late in the evening, you pick up approximately 70 cows out of every 100 that are, that are bullying during that period of time. The use of a heat detection aid can increase this by about 20%. Progressive Heat Time is a groundbreaking product that increases heat detection rates and has the potential to increase your margin by 2 to 3 cent per litre. It does this through accurate monitoring of activity and has proven itself in Irish conditions to greatly increase submission rates, cut empty rates and save labour. It makes the whole process of the breeding season simple, accurate and efficient. I was using stock bulls, which I've uh, gone away from. Uh, basically, I was AI and, and using stock bulls then. I was only getting maybe 40% of my replacements from AI, high EBI bulls. Now that's changed to 90 to 95% AI replacements coming in. And I, that's strictly down to using the heat time unit. This year, we looked at the heat time from Progressive Genetics and we decided to go for it and have to say it was probably one of the best investments we've ever made. This year we've done no other heat detection this year, this year we've done no other form of watching cows or anything. Never went to the field during the day or nothing this year. Just cows in, milk them, watch the machine. As a result of having the heat time in last year, I now have uh, 27 heifer calves on the ground. I don't think once you have heat time, I don't think you'd ever go back, ever. It's just too handy. The progressive heat time system is based around the motion sensing tag, which is fitted to a collar and sits close to the top of the cow's neck. The design keeps the tag close to the top of the collar and this ensures the sensor cancels out much of the cow's day-to-day -day activity, such as walking. Instead, it picks up heat activity only. The heat time collar records the cow's activity throughout the day. At milking, the data is read from the collar by the ID reader and fed back to the control box. The control box can then identify if the cow is in heat. Once a cow is in heat, the buzzer will sound and the light on top of the control box flashes. This alerts the farmer that there is a cow in heat. He can then view the screen to quickly identify the cow in heat, her previous heats, peak and level of activity. He can then zoom in on the last four days for a more detailed view. If a drafting gate is fitted, the cow will automatically be sorted into a holding pen for AI. Needless to say, increased detection rates means increased profit for the farmer and progressive heat time also ensures that the farmer has more time for other work as all the heat detection is done by progressive heat time. I found it absolutely brilliant from the fact that I can go to a match, I can let the young lads do the milking and come back at night, I come back the next morning and it tells me exactly what's been happening the night before. Another major advantage of the heat time system is that when I'm away, maybe for the afternoon or away at a couple of match, when I come back then, that the heat time has picked up the cows that are on heat. As progressive heat time takes all the work out of AI, most farmers are breeding more females to high EBI bulls, resulting in high quality replacements. I find that AI isn't, isn't a chore anymore in the sense that uh, you can AI for longer, because um, there's no, you're not going out looking at cows every day, wondering what's going on, you know, looking at tail paint and stuff like that. So you don't get, you don't get sick of AI. You, you know, you just keep at it, and you can you, the, the AI season is longer and easier on the farmer. And the big, the biggest advantage we have, we have with it is that there's more cows and calves to proven bulls and good bulls. Where before the old system, with more cows going mopping up with the old with the bull. Because heats are being detected more accurately. Farmers are finding conception rates have been improved. 
We scanned all our cows last week. Um, all the cows scanned who were 30 days or more served, we had 100% in calf. So that shows to me that the system is working extremely well. On initial figures, I think we're up 50% on last year cows and calf day. I'll have less empty cows, definitely, this year. Heat time can improve heat detection rates by 20% on typical farms. So what is this worth? To increase heat detection rate by 20%, could potentially lift the number of days a cow spend in milk by approximately 10. Not because they necessarily milk for longer in the autumn, but because they calve more compactly close to the start of the calving season. And this is worth about 30 euro per cow. The second area where a lift of 20% in heat detection rate can improve profitabilities through the, a reduction in empty rate, and where the breeding season is confined to a 12 week period. Potentially the room is to increase the, or reduce the empty rate by approximately 10% which is conservatively worth at another €100 Euro per cow. So my estimate would be that a 20% reduction in, in, or an increase in heat detection efficiency would result in an additional income of around €13,000 for a 100 cow herd. So based on results uh, from this year's scanning and use of the breeding season, uh, the heat time will reduce our empty rate by about 10%, which will increase our profit by about 10000 and also increase our days of milk by a further uh, 10 days, which is a further 10,000 euros, which means that the heat time will comfortably pay for itself in this season alone. I would certainly expect, I, I would be of the opinion that heat time has paid for itself in about 18 months. Heat time is going to be um, pivotal to expansion here on the farm because uh, the way things are, you know, I'm going to have to dilute costs, so the only way I'm going to be able to dilute costs is with a quality animal and breeding is probably more important than anything in farming at the moment because I need to breed an animal that will produce milk of grass with very little input and that will survive, you know, maybe six, seven, eight lactations in a herd. So the heat time is going to be central to the fact that uh, I'm going to be able to produce an animal that, 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 that suits the requirements at the farm at the moment. As heat time monitors cows 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Non-cycling cows are easily identified at the earliest possible time. We had a problem in the past um, with cows that weren't cycling properly. And um, with heat time, it's on the whole time. And uh, like your pre serves heat detection, a lot of people do. We have that on, on heat time. And uh, we basically do is when the cow is not cycling, we get our cycling before the, um, the heat of the season. Like, you know? And then we have a right ready to AI which when, when it's time to come to the AI. And uh, it's helping a lot anyway. And it, another big advantage would be like, cow that um, the silent heat, their cow is near impossible to pick up with heat time, it picks it up. What I find very good with the heat, with the heat time, but there's no real need for pre-season scan now because, because they're being monitored every day before, you know, as the calf, before the bulling season, I'm able, to, um, I'm able to decide what cows need attention before the season starts rather than having to pre-scan now. So I'm able to know what, if a cow hasn't been, if she's calved six weeks, why isn't she bulling? So if the vet is in, the cow is how can just left by and, and uh, handle and see what the story is with her. Midway through the breeding season as well, um, you can also pick up from heat time the cows that are not coming on heat. And if that's the case, then we call the vet in, we pick out those cows and call the vet in and examine them and see why they're not, we'll scan them and see why they're not coming on heat. And then we take appropriate action then after that. Uh, we picked up six cows that weren't cycling and we, we were to get the vet to attend to them earlier. After the first three weeks we picked up six cows and he, he sorted them and they came bullying then. The farmer can decide the optimal time for AI as heat time identifies the cow's peak activity. The heat time gave me confidence in the fact that I wasn't worrying about missing heats. Cows, uh, I was find it very easy to see cows bullying and uh, you know just uh, very easy to coordinate myself around um, using the the technicians as well because I was I'd, I'd be able to give them a ring the, the evening before or the morning in arranged times because I'd know exactly from looking at the time when the cow came on as when would be the, the most uh, best time to AI the cow. It works on a curve so um, when it peaks we use 12 hours after the peak um, then we AI so um, and conception has definitely improved. You, you can pick a precise time to AI your cow and be fairly confident that you're doing it at the right time. Progressive heat time can also be used to discover health issues affecting cows, particularly when the cow is inactive. As well as picking up cows on heat, I found that I have on several occasions picked up a sick cow, or a number of sick cows, 
with the low activity because it measures the activity. It will pick it up before you will. We'd see the cow low activity and she gradually gets sicker and sicker. Like, you know, we can, it's, it's, it's possible to actually um, know if she has mastitis before she actually gets it. Like, um, I suppose the low, the low activity, she kind of might be a lame cow or something like that, but you always, once the cow is low activity, you can keep an eye on that cow and you know to look out for that cow. Heat time is a breakthrough in heat detection and can make a big difference to your farm through better fertility performance and saved labour. Call Progressive Genetics and see the advantage Heat Time can bring to you. What makes the Heat Time so exciting, I think, really is um, it takes the guessing out of the heat detection. It's clear she's either in heat or she isn't. And now, since we've got Heat Time, we totally trust that there's no problem. I wouldn't use any other heat, uh, other heat aids because um, uh, after using the system for two years, uh, there's just absolutely no point. You don't lose steam as again watching cows over time. The machine is doing the work for you. It's, it's, a, it's like a labour you want to watch the cows for you. It's just the simplest, simplest system that was ever made, I think. And I'm not computer literate or nothing else, and I can use it, no problem. I would consider the heat time was uh, one, of the one of the best investments I've made. Um, as a result of having the heat time in last year, I now have uh, 27 heifer calves on the ground. The scanning has proven true too, and the heat time is doing its job. I'd hate to be without it now at this stage. You know, if I, if it was part and parcel. If I had to, if I had to do it out time now, I wouldn't like it. Like, you can't manage it out, anyhow. That's the way, that's the truth, anyhow. You could never manage it out. That's it. Was stuck me. There's no way to go back to the whole system. It just makes things so much more easier to 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 work, and I'd recommend it to anyone.